set go for the New Stars. Aidan Rigby is the one down low on the racetrack and goes into the race lead from uh, young Braden Steffens in position number two and the next one through there will be Cooper Reed. So one lap down on the 15 lap journey and Aidan Rigby has really found some pace out of the car. Down the back shoot he goes. Aidan Rigby, the 28 car, throws it into the hairpin. Braden Steffens holds on to position number 217 there is Cooper Reed. Next run through is Sophie Stanton. Back then we go to Jared Poole in the 47 car. Taryn Francis in five. Khan Thurgood in the 51 car. But right now, oh, he gets a little bit... A little bit here, I'm scared I'm out of the hairpin corner, but that's Aidan Rigby. Around Pagel's corner and down the back shoot. Aidan Rigby. He's got a good lead over Braden Steffens. Back then we go to Cooper Reed in the 17. I'll tell you what, the one that's closing in is Sophie Santon in the 18 car. Back then to Jared Poole in car number 47. Then we've got Taryn Francis in front of Khan Thurgood. Alira Dean is in this mix along with uh, Jack Menzies and then we're back to our race leader. So, Aidan Rigby can see four cars in front of him. Braden Stephens is a distant second place. And then we've got Cooper Reed also with uh, Sophie Stanton. So, here he goes in amongst the lap traffic. Aidan Rigby got one, goes to the inside of Alira Dean. Also looking to get by Taryn Francis around the top corner and stays down low on the track and puts a lap on Taryn and puts three cars between himself and Braden Steffens chasing. Back then to Cooper Reed who is closing the gap a little bit on Braden Steffens as they go up the thing straight away with seven laps remaining in the event. We'll stick with Braden Steffens because he's got three lap cars in front of him now and Cooper Reed in close proximity goes to the outside around Jack Menzies. The next one in front of him is Alira Dean. will stay high on the racetrack for Alira as they go under the tower and that allows Cooper Reed to close the gap a little bit. Taron Francis is the next one in his sights as he goes high on the track and Taron almost loses it, pulls it up, keeps it going in a straight line and uh, yes, is able to keep going. So as Jack Menzies, as Sophie Santon also got by that pair of cars, we're down to five laps remaining. We pick up our race leader, Aidan Rigby, a commanding lead, half a lap up the zinc main straightaway and under the tower. Just arriving in the hairpin corner, Braden Steffens heads up the zinc straightaway. Back then to uh, Cooper Reed. Sophie Stanton would be the next one. So our race leader in the hairpin yet again has got Jack Menzies in front of him again as he goes under the tower. And also uh, Taron Francis, who moves out of the road, lets him go by. Back in position number two, just going under the tower, is Braden Steffens. Race leader, doing a great job, Aidan Rigby. Into the hairpin he goes, and up the zinc straight away. Can't be too many laps remaining. Next time round, he'll get a white flag. Back then we go to Braden Steffens. Cooper Reed is still interested and uh, Sophie Santon. Then we're back with our race leader who's in the hairpin, heading up the main straight away, the white flag waiting for Aidan Rigby as he goes underneath. He's in his final lap. Back mixed up now in plenty of lap traffic is Braden Steffens. He's got a lap to go as well. Up the main straight away for our race leader and uh, now it's the white flag. Okay. 
Can't read the lap scoreboard. Braden Steffens to the outside of Jack Menzies will take the white flag as well. Back then we go to Cooper Reed and our race winner is in the hairpin. Heads up the main straight away. Aidan Rigby takes the checkered flag. We'll wait for position number two. That will be Braden Steffens in the hairpin corner. He goes. Heads up the main straight away. We'll take the check and flag. Braden Steffens to the better of Cooper Reed. Next one home, just heading up the main straight away right now will be Sophie Stanton completing the journey. Alira Dean also can't throw good, completes it. In fact, they all do, so put your hands together, folks, for them. Great drive. Great drive, remembering these are the new stars. They're just starting their career and a great drive by young Aidan Rigby who's pulled up and says I would like my lap of honour with the chequered flag as he goes around folks put your hands together for him well done young fellow as I said I think, this, you know, I think he's in his second season or he started halfway through last year or whatever ok but top star winner Braith, Braith Hogan, a long way from home, but a great win. Thanks, mate. Yeah, it takes an awful lot of effort to bring a car up here, especially from Rocky, so I'm glad that um, my family can make the time for me to actually do it. Um, I'd like to say a massive big thank you to Dad, Uncle Steph, Bama, my little brother, and Alana. I'd also like to say a big thank you to my sponsors, um, Pattern Suspension, Bree Street Time Mechanical, and Depco Drilling. Excellent work, folks. Our sport is in great hands.